Hello everyone. Welcome to this educational video of Dr. Vijay Rao. I am Dr. Vijay Rao, consultant rheumatologist practicing in Divisha Arthritis and Medical Center, Bengaluru. I am also a visiting consultant in Manipal Hospital, Old Airport Road, Bangalore. Today, I will address a few issues generally on autoimmune diseases, which consist of many diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, SLE or also called lupus, ankylosing spondylitis, psoriatic arthritis, vasculitis, so on and so forth. First to give a general overview about myself, I am a rheumatologist and immunologist trained extensively in the United Kingdom where most of these diseases were uh, found, the treatments were pioneered, experimented and validated. Uh, after going through extensive clinical training and research training, I have been back in India for now for the last four and a half years. Right now I am speaking in my own clinic which is Divisha Arthritis and Medical Center, which is a one stop solution for all inflammatory and autoimmune diseases. Uh, with a dedicated rheumatologist, musculoskeletal physiotherapist, a fully fledged autoimmune laboratory and uh, a highly uh, authenticated pharmacy delivering these uh, autoimmune medicines uh, prescribed by the immunologist. We will shortly be having many other specialities who are a part of this autoimmune disease management. Now what are autoimmune diseases? Autoimmune diseases are basically those kind of diseases where the immune system attacks your own tissues or body. I often call immune system as our own soldiers. Soldiers are meant to protect our country, but imagine a situation where our own soldiers attack our own country and that is what is possibly happening in people suffering from autoimmune diseases. So the immune system becomes villain and starts attacking different tissues of the body. So it might attack commonly joints, skin, hair, eyes, lymph glands, lung, liver, kidney, uh, brain, so on and so forth. Not all autoimmune diseases attack all particular organs. They might attack some organs at some time. If treatment is taken, usually no complications happen. The challenge in managing autoimmune diseases is to see an immunologist or rheumatologist. First of all, in India, rheumatologists and immunologists are very hard to find. So most diseases are managed superficially by an orthopedic surgeon or a general physician where the depth of knowledge and investigation and treatment is lacking in these kind of complicated diseases. So it is very important one actually identifies the autoimmune diseases at a very early stage. The reason being autoimmune diseases have window of opportunity. So what is this window of opportunity? Window of opportunity means if the disease is diagnosed early and treated within 90 days of the first symptom, then there is a chance to achieve a cure. Cure means the medicine should be stopped and the disease should not return. That is going to happen only if the window of opportunity is not missed. Let us say if the disease is diagnosed 6 months after the symptoms and the treatment is started, then the chance of stopping treatment is very, very difficult. So the treatment will actually work for the disease, but whether or not we are able to stop the treatment, that is something difficult to say. Okay. So autoimmune diseases are divided into several types. Commonly what we see is rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis generally affects hands and feet, small joints, usually seen in people from 40 to 60 years of age group, most commonly in females who have morning stiffness and pain in these small joints of hands and feet, shoulders, knees and elbows. Uh, their tests, blood tests mainly have 
raised inflammatory markers such as ESR and CRP and they have certain proteins elevated in their blood called rheumatoid factor and anti CCP. So, the rheumatologist looks at the patient and the blood report and formulates a diagnosis for this. Once the diagnosis is made, we will have to start treatment which controls the immune system so that they stop attacking the joints. The immune system uh, is uh, you know attacked by several tablets and these tablets have to be monitored regularly. So, we initially start and monitor with blood tests every month and once the control is achieved the visits become less frequent that is 3 monthly after that yearly maybe. Often patients ask the doctors are there any side effects with these tablets. The side effects are extremely rare and these tablets are very very safe and thousands and lakhs of patients worldwide are on these medications. 100 patients out of 100 patients who take this treatment 70 patients that is 70 percent become normal with these simple medications within 3 months. The rest 30 percent do not become normal with these medications and for those we go on specialized medicines called biologic agents which target specific cells in the blood uh, leading on to these diseases. These biological agents come in the form of a drip form or an injection which can be taken like insulin and these days sometime even in the tablet form as well. So, these biologic agents have received a lot of negative publicity on the internet telling that they are extremely unsafe which is in fact incorrect. So, they are extremely safe provided it is prescribed and used by an experienced rheumatologist and immunologist because it needs specific monitoring uh, and safety checks before they are started uh, such as checks for HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C and tuberculosis. So, once the biologic agents are started almost 100 percent achieve a disease control but even these biological agents do not achieve a cure by what I mean by that is it is not that if you use biological agents the disease will completely end and you do not have to use any of these again in your life. It is just that these agents achieve a control when the tablets are not able to achieve the control. It is very much important to use this if none of your tablets are working and hence you will have to use a higher agent to control it. Yes, the biological agents are expensive, but it is actually in a long run will save your joints, help you to prevent joint replacement surgeries which are expensive as well as they make you bedridden. So, to prevent from surgeries, to prevent from threat life threatening com complications, the biological agents have to be used when your tablets do not work. In certain diseases like ankylosing spondylitis, the biological agents we often tend to use it early in life. Ankylosing spondylitis is actually a disease which affects men uh, between 15 to 45 years. It usually involves back and can lead to early morning stiffness of the back and hips causing a lot of joint deformity, uh, restricted movement and early hip joint arthritis leading to uh, what we call as hip replacement at a very young age. So, if this is not picked up at an early stage, one can lead to on uh, bedridden or a wheelchair status bound, unable to mobilize or lie down flat on bed. So, in order to prevent these complications, biological agents like TNF alpha blockers such as infliximab, betanercept, adilumab, any of these agents are used early on in life uh, so that the disease progression is halted and the dependence on painkillers is less because the painkillers can eventually damage the kidney. So, I have touched upon two common diseases which is rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Now, I will come to another disease called psoriatic arthritis which affects the skin predominantly causing white flaky patches called psoriasis. It can also affect uh, dandruff and uh, it can affect eyes called uveitis where the uh, structure in the eye called uvea can become inflamed. Psoriatic arthritis can affect nails where nails get disfigured 
it can affect joints and the spine. So, psoriatic arthritis mostly uh, you know it is genetic in origin and it is autoimmune as well. So, most patients with ankylosing spondylitis and psoriatic arthritis have blood tests being normal that is out of 100 patients 40 patients only have abnormal blood tests the rest 60 have normal tests and most non rheumatologists who are general doctors fail to pick up this disease and say blood tests are normal you do not have arthritis which is actually wrong. It is mostly by clinical diagnosis that a rheumatologist will pick this up in conjunction with an x-ray and also the clinical manifestations. So, treatment for psoriatic arthritis is in the form of tablets initially like I said earlier for those who do not respond to tablets we use biological agents. This is again a treatment we carry on for roughly 2 years or so after which you know depending on the necessity we give the treatment. Uh, lastly, I would like to cover a disease which affects females especially in pregnancy called SLE. So, this is an autoimmune disease which usually is genetic in origin and can be worsened due to hormonal activities such as pregnancy and uh, sunlight. So, sunlight can make this disease worse. Uh, this disease can affect several parts of the body including hair, lymph glands, eyes, skin joints, kidney, brain, heart and lung. So, uh, there are specific tests called ANA test which is very important to diagnose this which is again an autoimmune blood test. It is important to do a urine test to make sure the kidney is not missed. Once diagnosis is made you have started on treatment which carries on for roughly 2 to 3 years. If severe form of disease is involved such as brain and kidney then we use uh, higher medicines such as endoxin or cyclophosphamide which is mild form of chemotherapy or even a biological agent such as rituximab which is blocking a particular cell called B cell in this disease. Uh, in pregnancy special care has to be taken with people having rheumatic diseases because the tablets itself can be stopped abruptly by obstetricians telling that they are unsafe. Not all tablets are unsafe in uh, uh, pregnancy. What I mean by that is some uh, there are some tablets which are safe in pregnancy only a rheumatologist or immunologist will know which is safe and it has to be adequately switched 3 months before pregnancy so that pregnancy is safe. If tablets are abruptly stopped the disease will go high and if the disease goes high the baby will not grow and then the mother might lose the baby inside the womb itself. Also, there are special tests which has to be done to make sure there are no additional complications in pregnancy due to the rheumatic diseases. Breastfeeding is extremely safe in rheumatic diseases. There are many many tablets which can be continued in breastfeeding which need not be stopped and it is extremely important you discuss with your rheumatologist about all these tablets of whatever you are taking before your pregnancy so that they are adequately altered and changed. Sudden stoppage of tablet is extremely bad in these diseases. It has to be done under medical supervision and taking medicines without monitoring tests is extremely unsafe. So, you must meet your rheumatologist once in 3 to 6 months so that these tablets are monitored on a regular basis. So, side effects is extremely rare provided they are monitored and prescribed by safe hands. Lastly, many patients ask about diet and exercise therapy. All autoimmune diseases require fat free diet that is no butter, ghee, paneer, cheese, no refined sugars such as sugar and sweets, no red meat such as mutton, beef or pork and depend less on carbohydrates such as potato or rice uh, and uh, make your food very light. Any type of fruits can be taken. It is important you regularly get into a physical activity it could be of anything of your choice. Once you do physical activities your body releases endorphins which makes you feel good strengthens your muscles and your dependence on medications is lessened. You must see a physiotherapist in conjunction to medications in all these autoimmune diseases as a physiotherapist will know which muscle groups are weak 
and which have to be strengthened and stretched. Lastly, above all this, it is important you have a positive attitude in life. It is not the end of the life that you have developed this disease. It is in fact the beginning. Take this as a turning point in your life. Take the appropriate medicines, consult your rheumatologist, follow regular diet and exercises and you will eventually gain control of the disease rather than the disease controlling you. I wish you all the best and uh, we are here in the Visha Arthritis and Medical Center to actually support you through your journey and walk with you through all your journey and troubles and make you come out of this.